In his book, Back from the Dead, Bill Walton opens up about the severe challenges he faced due to a back injury. He describes a period where he felt he had lost everything, including his dignity and self-respect, and had no hope of recovery. During a 2022 podcast, Walton shared that his first significant back injury occurred while playing basketball at UCLA. He recalls breaking his spine on the court and playing another game just 11 days later. These injuries not only affected his basketball career, but also plagued him throughout his life. In his 14-year NBA career, Walton missed more games, 680 than he played 488 because of various injuries. Walton recounted to Advamed an incident in early 2008 when, after years of enduring pain, he reached a breaking point where he couldn't move after a flight. The unrelenting pain even led him to contemplate suicide as a way to escape his suffering. Walton also discussed the numerous surgeries he underwent, 38 orthopedic operations in total, to address his injuries. Being 6'11 added to his difficulties, as the world seemed designed for shorter people, exacerbating his physical struggles during his travels as a commentator. Despite trying numerous non-surgical treatments to alleviate his pain, acupuncture, chiropractic adjustments, alternative medicine, meditation, massage, yoga, physical therapy, core strengthening, medication, and injections, Walton eventually consented to surgery. This decision came with the encouragement and support of his friend and colleague, Jim Gray, and was performed by Dr. Steve Garfin at UCSD. The surgery and the subsequent recovery process were incredibly challenging, but ultimately successful. About eight months after the surgery, Walton experienced a moment of relief while lifting weights when he realized his pain was gone. For the first time in years, he felt hopeful about his recovery and looked forward to enjoying activities he loved, like biking. Post-surgery, Walton emphasized that people his age should focus on activities such as swimming, weightlifting, or biking. He expressed deep gratitude to his wife, Lori Matsuoka, who cared for him throughout his ordeal. Lori worked full-time with Freedom Dogs, providing service dogs for military personnel. Walton highlighted her work in a 2022 interview with Al Franken, noting that more service members die by suicide than in combat. In a 2016 interview, with David Axelrod on CNN, Walton shared his joy at being pain-free and medication-free after his surgery. He felt healthier and happier than he had in years and considered himself incredibly fortunate. Walton's sudden passing was a shock to many. Known for his vibrant and positive personality, he left a lasting impact on those he met. He often spoke fondly of his favorite band, The Grateful Dead, and was always ready to voice his opinions and advocate for others.